Today, in honor of 9-11, I'm doing something infidelicious. Let's do it. Huh. That's the sound of the hand. Huh. That's the sound of the hand. Huh. That's the sound of the hand. All right, welcome back to another episode of Big Sticks, guys. Today, I'm making albacore tuna poke using those fillets that I took from my last video of a fish that I got from Derek Barton of Real Ninja Fishing. Don't forget to visit his channel and also check him out on Facebook. Poke tuna bowls are basically raw fish salad. One of the things I love about poke is that it utilizes all fresh ingredients. And when you take all those fresh ingredients and put them all together and allow the flavors to meld, they just pop. I mean, it is an explosion of flavor in your mouth. You won't forget it. All it requires is just assembly, a little bit of prep work, and you can have yourself a fantastic, fantastic meal. All right, so the green onions, you're gonna wanna slice really thinly. And this is about the only cutting aside from the fish that you're gonna have to do. As thin or as thick as you like. I think the thinner it is, the, the better it looks. And we'll work on that tuna now. So, so this tuna filet is still partially uh, frozen. And I like to work with it that way. That way, you're, you know, you're, that your tuna is cold. Uh, so I'm just, I'm not gonna use all of this at once. I think maybe that should be enough. I think this is about a three quarter pound portion. Basically gonna cut this into half inch slices. So you can cut these as small or as big as you like. Um, I tend to think that, that that half inch cubes are good. I'm gonna add a little bit of, um, of coarse sea salt. We're gonna add a little bit of sesame seed oil. So about, I don't know, a tablespoon or so. This is soy sauce. I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of that in here as well. I'm gonna put a little toasted sesame seeds. Right, I like a lot. We're gonna put some green onions in here that we just chopped. Now, I'm gonna take a little bit of garlic, we're gonna take a garlic clove, and I'm gonna run this across a micro plane. You could use a, a small grater if you like, or you could even crush and chop it. it all depends on uh, how much of the garlic texture you like. And then I got a little bit of ginger here. So everything I'm working in amounts of about a tablespoon if I had to, you know, give you guys sort of exact amounts. I'm going to take the zest of one lemon. I'm not going to use the whole thing, but we're just going to zest it, right? This is going to add a nice citrusy pop in your mouth without adding the citric acid to this that would otherwise uh, cook the fish. You could choose to add sugar to this as well. That also goes well. All right, now we're just simply gonna give this a toss. Sriracha. I'm gonna add about a little over a teaspoon here. I love the way the sriracha adds a nice, nice spice to this, this dish. reached that time folks my favorite part time to dig in I don't have much time I gotta beat my son to go watch it too 
but I wish I wish I would have more time. Oh my freaking god, that's so good. Man. Ooh, if you have an opportunity to make this, folks, totally, totally worth your time. An albacore tuna, um, I'd never had any experience with it aside from the canned stuff. And I got to tell you, boy, this is far and away so much better than anything you'll ever get in a can. The can sucks. This stuff is fantastic. It is absolute gold. Like now, I, honestly, I want to go fishing for them. Hell, I might have to sit here and eat this whole thing. <laughs> Mukbang. Mm, mm, mm. I know it's so wrong of me. All right, folks, that's going to do it for me. So until next time, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and all that good stuff from my kitchen to yours. Big Sticks out. While I got you still here, don't forget to check out a few more of my videos.